Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. He gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of a kingdom where you live in the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your, your grace into our hearts, that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought, brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the feet of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the feet of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the feet of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the feet of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the feet of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the feet of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the feet of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of a cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly unto your protection. O, o Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God, God Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, who are the glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant and beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries, of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, he entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on the Jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, 
whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, and in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all, in the gospel we share with all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Tuesday, the 34th week of our ordinary time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Come, let us come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hand. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Come, then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they have seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Forty years I endured their generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation, from deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth, and let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men, 
among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you gave me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. Day and night he gives me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shield cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the nether world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your darkness. The living, the living give you praise as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to string instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows. You hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin. Too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of our distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water, you fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its rain. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps, in the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Stir up the wheel of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Daniel said to Nebuchadnezzar, In your vision, O king, you saw a statue, a very large and exceedingly bright, terrifying in appearance as it stood before you. The head of the statue was pure gold, its chest and arms were servile, its belly and thighs of bronze, the legs iron, its feet partly iron and partly tile. While you look at the statue, a stone which was hewn from a mountain without a hand being put to it, struck its iron and tile feet, breaking them in pieces. The iron, tile, bronze, silver, and gold all crumbled at once, fine as a chaff on the threshing floor in summer, and the wind blew them away without leaving a trace. But the stone that struck the statue became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. This was a dream. The interpretation 
you shall also give in the king's presence. You, O king, are the king of kings. To you, the God of heaven has given dominion and strength, power and glory. Men, wild beasts, and birds of the air, wherever they may dwell, he has handed over to you, making you ruler over all them. You are the head of gold. Another kingdom shall take your place, inferior to yours, than a third kingdom of bronze, which shall rule over the whole earth. There shall be a fourth kingdom, strong as iron. It shall break in pieces and subdue all these others. Just as iron breaks in pieces and crushes everything else. The feet and toes you saw, partly a potter's style and partly of iron, mean that it shall be a divided kingdom, but yet have some of the hardness of iron. As you saw the iron mixed with the clay tile, and the toes partly iron and partly tile, the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly fragile. The iron mixed with the clay tile means that they shall seal their alliances with intermarriage, but they shall not stay united any more than iron mixes with clay. In the life of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed or delivered up to another people. Rather, it shall break in pieces all these kingdoms and put an end to them it shall stand forever. That is the meaning of the stone you saw, hewn from the mountain, without a hand being put upon, which broke in pieces the tile, iron, bronze, silver, and gold. The great God has revealed to the king what shall be in the future. This is exactly what you dreamed, and its meaning is true. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. You heavens, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Please stand. until death, and I will give you the crown of life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, 
when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you do not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. Dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Itoon po natin ang ating pananaw at bigyan natin ng higit na pagpahalaga yung mga bagay na nagtatagal sa ating buhay. Mga minamahal na kapatid sa ating Panginoong Isokristo, tayo po ngayon ay nasa huling linggo at huling mga araw sa liturgical calendar ng ating simbahan. Sa darating na linggo po ay panahon na ng Adviento. At kung niyo po mapapansin, ang tema sa mga huling araw sa ating liturgical calendar ay tungkol po sa mga pagkasira at pagkawala. Destruction and lost. Kapag ka pinag-uusapan ng pagkasira at pagkawala, talaga namang ito po'y nagdudulot sa ating lahat ng labis na pangamba at pagkatakot sa buhay. Sa ating unang pagbasa, si Haring Nebuchadnezzar ay nagkaroon po ng isang panaginip at hindi niya maintindihan kung ano yung kanyang panaginip kaya pinatawag niya si Propeta Daniel. Ang kanyang panaginip ay isang malaking struktura ng tao na kung saan ang ulo ay ginto, ang balikat at mga braso ay silver, ang tiyan at ang hita ay bronze, ang paa ay magkahalong bakal at putik. Hindi niya maintindihan kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng panaginip na ito. Subalit ipinaliwanag sa kanya na ang panaginip na ito ay tungkol sa isang malaking kaharian. At siya yung una, kaharian ng Babylonia, sumasagisag ng ginto. Ito ay masisira at papalitan pa ng ibang kaharian. Sa kasaysayan, pinalitan ng kaharian ng Median, pinalitan ng kaharian ng Persia, pinalitan ng kaharian ng mga Grego ng Greek. Lahat ay nasira. Subalit, ang strukturang ito ay sinira o pinalitan ng isang bato na gumiba sa buong struktura. At yung batong yun ay lumaking lumaki. Sinasabi na ang batong ito ay tumutukoy sa ating Panginoong Isokristo. Sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayong araw, ang mga Hudyo'y nabis na mamangha sa kagandahan ng templo. At ang templo ngayon ay napapalumitean din ng ginto, nakakasilaw, ubod ng ganda, na hindi ma-imagine ng mga tao ng panahon na yon na ito'y mawawasak. Alam natin na sa kasaysayan noong AD 70, ito ay nasira, sirang-sira, nang sabi ng historian na si Josephus, kahit na yung pang-araro ay pwedeng padaanin eh, doon sa gitna ng templo. Nawasak ng lahat. Papansin po natin na bagamat ang mga struktura sa mundo, kahit gaano katibay, ay mawawala. Pero sinasabi ng ating Panginoong Isokristo, may isang bagay na magtatagal. Ang magtatagal ay ang kanyang salita. Ang magtatagal ay ang kanyang paghahari. Maaring dito sa manawag, tayo labis na natutuwa sapagkat malaki, napakaganda ng simbahan. Pero maaaring darating din ang panahon na maging ang simbahan na ito'y mawawala. Pero yung ating relasyon sa ating Panginoong Diyos, kahit kailan po kung ating patitibayin ay hindi mawawala. Yung ating ugnayan 
ng pagsunod sa ating Panginoong Diyos ay napakahalaga sapagkat itong bagay nito ang magtatagal hanggang sa kabila. Ang pag ng Diyos ay nagumpisa na, nagsimula na sa ating buhay, pero laging sinasabi na hindi pagganap, hindi pa kumpleto. Kaya nga naman, tayo po mga nagmamahal, sumusunod at naglilingkod sa ating Panginoong Sokristo ay pilit na nagpapatuloy na ang kanyang pag ay baranasan natin sa ating buhay. Nakakatakot ang iba't ibang uri ng pagkasira na maaari nating maranasan sa buhay natin. Ang pagkasira ng pamilya, ang pagkasira ng ating bayan, para ang pagkasira ng ating simbahan. Subalit ang ating Panginoong Sokristo ay matapat sa atin. Hindi niya pinapangako ng ating paglalakbay, ay isang paglalakbay na laging napakasaya, bahagi ng ating buhay ang pagkawala. Sabalit bagamat nanduroon ang pagkawala, nanduroon ang pagkasira, ay pangako ang ating Panginoong Isokristo sa ating lahat. Kung dumating ang panahon na maranasan natin ang mga tanda ng panahon, bagyo, lindol, gera, pagkakawatak-watak ng pamilya, paglalaban-laban ng mga bansa, Sinasabi ng ating Panginoong Isokristo, hindi tayo dapat na matakot sapagkat hindi tayo mag-iisa. Lagi siya ng diriyan. Lagi niya tayong sasamahan. Dalangin po natin na si Jesus ay lagi nating makapiling sa ating buhay. Dalangin po natin na ang ating Panginoong Isokristo ay maramdaman natin lalo na po sa mga panahon na nakakaranas tayo ng pagkawala parang nawawalan tayo ng direction sa buhay nito sa mga panahon na nakakaranas tayo ng matinding pagsubok ang ating Panginoong Sokristo hindi hindi po tayo iiwanan hindi masisira ang pag ng ating Panginoong Sokristo ito po ang ating pag-asa ito po ang ating pinananaligan po ang ating Panginoong Isokristo ay ordinaryong tao lamang, tayo pong lahat ay matatakot. Subalit, ang ating Panginoong Isokristo ay isang taong matagumpay. Siya po'y winner. Maging sa kamatayan, ang huling kalaban. At ito po'y nagbibigay sa atin ng labis na kaginhawahan sa ating kaisipan at sa ating mga puso. Sapagkat yung taong ating pinanandaligan, alam po natin na isang taong matagumpay at umaasa po tayong lahat na bagamat makakaranas tayo ng matinding pagsubok sa buhay nito, tagumpay din ang naghihintay sa ating lahat kung lagi nating kapiling at kasama ang ating Panginoong Yesus. Let's all stand. Coming together as God's people, <clears throat> we confidently bring our needs before the Father, confident that He will grant our request. Let our response be, Father, we hope in You. Father, we hope in You. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives in preaching the gospel by their witness of life. We pray, Father, we hope in You. That parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. We pray, Father, we hope in you, that we may try our best to do what is right, and may God's word be a living power, influencing our actions. We pray, Father, we hope in you, that we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. We pray, Father, we hope in you, for our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all of those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Father, we hope in you. For the bishops of the Philippines, and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Peñafort, we pray. Father, we hope in you. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of Holy Rosary of Manawa, 
and for our personal intentions. We pray, Father, we hope in you, that the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. We pray, Father, we hope in you. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we become worthy of your love. Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts of prey by sending down your spirit upon them like the jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art who in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, the said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and gracefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His Supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Together, let us pray the credo of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the honor of everything who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies, who has chosen me to be steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of who I am and what I have done, in spite of the fidelities He knows I will still commit, I believe in the power of giving and the power of loving like Jesus because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving, even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have done. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me, because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Lord, save us from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. 
through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Lord save, save us from, from the hands, hands of all who hate us. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa inyong pong, uh, pakikisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of your rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.